Good morning, family. Today is Tuesday. I want to believe it's the 23rd of uh, September, and it is about, I don't know, it's 8 something in the morning. My kids are gone. The house is still, it's quiet. Um, my dogs have been let out. They've been fed, so they're probably somewhere chilling. So I come on today to talk about a few things. Shall we? We shall. First, let me get this disclaimer out of the way. This video is not for kids. I don't do kid videos. This is not Nickelodeon. I don't do none of that. I don't do Bloom, uh, what is it, uh, Bloom something other hell. No, Boomerang, Boomerang. I don't do Bloom Boomerang or Disney Channel East or West. This is all, listen, uncut, live, indirect. You understand me? This is adult, get down to the utmost. And if this is not your thing, then I'm going to suggest that you go ahead on and, and, uh, and check out on this one. And come in on something that might be a little bit for you. But, um, let me say this. I be I tend to be all over the place in my videos. So it could be titled something, but I'm touching on so many other things. Anyway, um, that's just the way I do things. I don't know. My personality is just kind of colorful and it's kind of all over the place. And um, so sometimes I stick to the script and sometimes I be on some impromptu and I'm over there. You know what I'm saying? Once again, if it ain't your shit, it's called extra stage right. You ain't got to be up in here, okay? You ain't got to do this. Don't do this to yourself. Bless yourself and exit the room. There it is. Now, if you choose to stay... Then therefore that means you with it. So now the rest of the motherfuckers that I roll with, come on in the room. It's uh, nigga, it's us. It's baby. This uh, look, it's us, and we chilling. Okay. All right. Now, um, before I go on to this love and hip hop Hollywood that I seen last night, um, I just. I want to give you guys a little bit of update on, on how I've been and where my headspace is and how my children are doing and how my family members are doing and all those type of things. First, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the well wishes and stuff. Family, the, my birthday week was crazy. When I tell you, it was like five deaths. You know, I was just getting hit with like four or five deaths in like one week. And, you know, my, um, one of my girls lost her father. Um, then one of my girls lost her dude. And it was crazy, too, because, but, you know, you know, things happen crazy. But it's like, wow, you know, they were together. And as and, and soon as he got out the car, it's like they did wait for him to get out the car. And they just shot his ass up. And so she witnessed that. So, you know, so, you know, just know that I'm with you, mama, on that. I know that I've seen it on the news, but I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, until, you know, you had reached out on Facebook. And I was like, oh, my God, for reals? So, anyway, so I had that. My cousin, my cousin and um, them had a little function, and it got out of hand, and niggas was drinking and cutting up and showing out and putting one up and doing the mostest. And um, my cousin then had a terrible, terrible accident. It was really, really bad. I was talking to my auntie last night, and she was saying that my cousin is now up. And they have him off the ventilator. So thank you guys so much for your prayers. I mean, listen, I was praying so hard. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, from a mouth of a sinner, baby, I had to humble it all the way down. Because I already know he's in the blessing business. Somebody come on, okay? And so, I was like, the only person I could pull him through this is God. And with a medical background, it was just like, whoa, this kid was, I mean, he's not a kid because my cousin is like, he, I was born in 71, he was born in 73. And he was hit by a car. I don't want to give too much about it because it's a, it's a lot of family involved on both ends. Okay? Yeah, it's family involved on all this because it's family that hit that ass. Okay, let me just go and say that. Anyway, them niggas was over there and they was drinking and getting fucked up. And, you know, 
they was trying to get to the stuff to go get them another, you know, this and that, E and J, whatever the get down is, I don't know, Hennessy, um, Duck, uh, Booms, whatever. Whatever they get down was, my cousin and my cousin, my and his sister's boyfriend, which also I guess he had just got out of jail or whatever, them niggas was really partying. Them niggas was partying like on the Wednesday, barbecuing and every motherfucking thing. They were doing the utmost, okay? And uh, it went terribly bad. It went terribly, terribly bad. And my cousin, like, 75% of his body was crushed, okay? I, well, I'm going to say 75. Let's go with about 60. Okay, because his legs was crushed, different ones, kept clavicle, arm, this right here, motherfucking rib cage and shit twisted up, all this right here, this broke up, this right here, nigga, neck to the, fucked up, toe up, when I tell you, oh my God, liver, this and that, kidney, boom, boom, this right here, papers need to take him, all kinds of shit, okay, now my, his sister's boyfriend, my cousin's dude, the one that just got out, they were partying for. How about this nigga here is paralyzed? All bad. All bad. I don't want to get too much into it because I know that some of my cousins and shit, we all, you know what I'm saying, when y'all come over and y'all come through, Auntie, but you was talking about woo woo one day and what's up with that? Yeah, so my cousins tend to watch my videos now. Now, you know, my girl cousins and older cousins and stuff. And they'll watch my videos, man. And they're like, shit, fuck uh, calling you up on the phone, bitch. I'm going to be there in a minute. And they come over here. We cook up some shit. And, you know, they want to talk about that dude or whatever the case. And, you know, they want some little one-on-one -on -one and shit like that. Talk to Tim. Yeah. So, you know, I don't want to go get too tough with it and shit. But, yeah, my family was going through some hell of hell of a thing. Oh my God, it was crazy. One thing after the next. And, uh, you know, hey, you know, my cousin's pulling through and I'm so excited and so, I, I feel so good about that. Um, I've been on such an emotional roller coaster. You would not believe. You know, my kids are coming into their own. My kids are getting, you know, where my son is growing into, you know, his young manhood now. He will be 18, November 1st. And Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. I love that boy. My firstborn son. And I was telling my auntie yesterday because I, in the morning time, I get out and I have my reflection time after the kids are gone or sometimes before they even wake up. And I sit out and I get out my hammock. I put one up. And, you know, and I just reflect and I just think and, you know, I think about what I have to do. Um, I think about things that I want to do, all kinds of things. And I just sit out there and I reflect. Some mornings I'll go out there two or three o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. My creativity just never stops. My mind, I don't know if what that is. I don't know if some of you guys also have that or if I'm the only nigga that got it. I don't know, but I know it's somebody that also, they mind just don't cut the fuck off. I know it's some other people. I know I ain't the only one with this. And it's like, shit, my mind just wake me the fuck up. And then it's like, boom. And I keep, you know, paper, uh, a tablet, and, and, and a pen on the side of my bed because, you know, I write. Oh, uh, shout out to the motherfucker. Uh, excuse me, can't say too much, but... Um, shout out to the Boondocks. The Boondocks will be coming out with a motherfucking movie. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Boondocks. Eddie Murphy. Shout out. I'm done with it. You heard it first on my motherfucking whoop that whoop. But probably you probably heard some other places too, but I just wanted to put that out there. But anyway. Um, so, uh, you know, so I, you know, I get up and I write and things of that nature and, um, uh, you know, I had to, yesterday, it just all just came down on me. You know what I'm saying? It came down on a bitch hard, too. And I was like, oh, my God, Lord Jesus. And I was like, you know, I need to, I, I, was tell, I called my auntie yesterday morning, me and her talked about nine or so. And I was telling her, and I said, auntie, she's like, what? You know, what's going on with me? You know? And I was like, you know what, what it is, is I need to let go of the fantasy of having 
the most beautiful life, beautiful children, this and this and this and this and this. Okay. So she was like, what's going on? And really, to be perfect, perfectly honest with you, I don't have, excuse me, damn. But that lets you know what I'm talking about. You know, I have intestinal issues and when I talk a lot, a lot of air comes through and it gives me the gurgles and bubbles. If you guys noticed since 2010, it's like when I talk a lot, I talk too much, I have these gurgles and bubbles and, you know, these intestinal trips that, anyway. So, um, believe it or not, let me, and I, let me knock on wood. I do have magazines right here. I can knock on wood right there. Um, but I, I don't stress over money. Thank God. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Father God. I don't have that stressor. Okay. Oh, like, oh, my, my lights are going to get cut off. You know, I don't have that. Thank God. You know, my stressors now are my children. My children are taking me to the window and to the wall on some real shit. My kids are taking me to the window and to the wall. And what's, what's so, my kids are, they soar, scholastic. When it comes down to, in mathematics, oh my God, I got three scholars in mathematics you know i mean just crazy but my kids they tend to try me you know what i'm saying and they think that their mom is a comedian in which i'm not i'm not a comedian <laughs> but my kids tend to think that everything i say is jokes it's funny it's like and then it's like then when they notice that i'm really serious it's like when they look at my face and they're like oh, she's not playing you know, but after a while, I done went through 20 minutes of funny. You thought I was joking. You thought I was bullshit, you know. And my kids, for the past, so this is just some real shit. This is, if y'all cool with it, then, you know, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about some other shit, but we're going to talk about this shit. Can we talk about my shit for a minute? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to make speculation. Don't make speculation. I can tell my story better than you don't do it. You look foolish, Okay. But, uh, my kids have been spoiled all their life. I take full, I take full responsibility for it, okay? I take full responsibility for it. I, and then in the midst of my marital troubles, then, you know, I tend to give them overflow. You know, Christmas time, dumping two, three thousand dollars, just boom, just gone. And now that my kids are older, you know, five thousand dollars is like that's my Christmas every year. It's like if I, you know, if I don't pull off out that much, it's like they they feel like oh shit, we done got some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's crazy, but um, my kids are so spoiled by my own hand. And now my kids feel a sense of entitlement. They feel like shit's supposed to happen. Oh, you supposed to do this. Oh, no, you gon' do... No, uh, excuse me. Yeah, my kids feel like that. You know, and... I'm like... Nigga, when I tell you, I'm ready to... Look, because first of all, I'm the shortest in the house. I'm not the heaviest. But I am the shortest in the house. And it's like, it's me and my three in here. And there's a constant push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. And see, for a minute, Tony was here every day. Tony's not here every day anymore. So um, it's like they want to pit the adults against one another sometimes. Like they want to play me and Ken against one another. They want to play me and Tony against one another. Oh, well, mom said this. Well, Miss Kenny, you know, what do you say? Or dad, what do you say? It's like they want to pit us against one another. And then at the end of the day, mama, you didn't ever say that. You didn't ever tell us that. You didn't tell me I couldn't go. You didn't tell me I couldn't get the money. You didn't tell me, you know what I'm saying? And then want to make it seem like, mama, you getting forgetful. Ooh, mama. 
Oh, you, you you got too much stress on you. You can't remember nothing. You can't remember you told me this. You can't remember you gave me that much money. You can't remember. No, excuse me. I'm very on top of what goes on. Okay? I'm very conscious. Okay? And, um... Sebastian, there's no one out there. Good night. So... Um, my, but my kids, they try to play the dozen so tough with us, with the adults. And then, you know, they throw like low key, like tantrums and shit. Like, okay, if I don't get my way, then I protest. I'm not going to do shit. I ain't going to do shit. I ain't going to talk to you. I ain't going to, that's how my kids be acting. Oh my God. And I'm like, nigga, is this for real? Like, is this a game? Like. Oh, my God. And I'm like, I get to looking around. I be like, nigga, you black. And you getting straight dealt with, like, I'm like, oh, my God. And so yesterday I was telling my auntie, I need to let go of this fantasy that my children are so perfect. And my children are so this and that. My life is just my life, okay? This is a byproduct of the decisions that I've made in my life. So when you look around your shit and your shit is not pleasing to the eye and shit, then nigga chalk that up to the decisions that you made in your life. That's what it is. It's the decisions that you made in your life and that's what surrounds you. Okay? That's what surrounds you. The, the company that you keep, um, the decisions that you made, and if it is not to your liking, then you might need to change up some things. It might not be them, nigga, it's you. Okay, and so when I look around my surroundings, I see so much love in my space. I see so much love in my space. You know, there was so much love when I when I bought it for my kids. There was so much love when it was bought for me. When it was bought for my kids, you know, um, there, you know, there's just a lot of love and. And it shows that, you know what, girl, you must have been a decent-ass individual at some point in time. You must have been real good to people. You know, you must have really, you know, stood firm in your truth. Because I just don't think that, you know, and sometimes, and it's crazy because people tend to question my blessings, you know. And they're like, well, damn, well, bitch, well, you, well, you this, how you end up with that? Bitch, you. And motherfuckers was like banking on my car. You know, I was, you know, I was getting shit, you know, when I first got my car. And, you know, somebody had sent me a video. And I was watching this young lady. And I guess she was just, you know, she was riding on her friend or whatever. And so she was like, well, yeah, you waiting on Tina to, you know, for the repo man to come get her car. Or some shit, some, something to that degree. And so she didn't say my full name. All she said was Tina. So I just took it as though, hey. She mentioned me, you know, she mentioned Tina in a new car, so, you know, I automatically assume, okay, you know what I'm saying, maybe she's talking about me, maybe not, but, you know, it's whatever, you know what I'm saying, because my decisions are my own. Let my shit speak for itself. I don't have to prove a goddamn thing to no one else. I don't have to prove anything. I don't have to show shit. All I got to do is live my fucking life. And my job is to get up every day, okay? That is my job. That's what the fuck I do. I get up, I cook for my kids, I lounge around my spot. Oh, my God, let me knock on wood. Thank you, Father. Oh, my God. Thank you. Because I truly believe this can't be nothing else but God. I'm like, won't he do it? Oh, my God, look at God. You know? And... <clears throat> 